mobilized Bashkirs avoid direct participation in hostilities in Ukraine. The mobilized Bashkirs have been trying to avoid direct participation in hostilities in Ukraine. Ukraine's National Resistance Center reported this. This happens against the backdrop of protests in Bashkortostan, provoked by the detention of Fail Alsinov, the local environmental activist and one of the Bashkir national movement leaders. After Alsinov's arrest and his sentencing to four years in prison, Russian police forcefully cracked down on protesters. Participants of the Ukrainian underground managed to document the existence of corresponding preferences in the Russian army based on ethnic criteria. Officers of Bashkir nationality transfer their fellow countrymen to non-combat units and constantly encourage them with rewards. In particular, the Bashkirs have moved to the second echelon of forces on the Kremina and Avdiivka fronts, limiting themselves to logistical support, repair and evacuation assistance for the advanced Russian units. Through such activities, they seek to preserve the mobilized Bashkirs to continue the national liberation movement in Bashkortostan. Against this backdrop, Russian servicemen have repeatedly clashed with representatives of Tatar nationalities. The Center of National Resistance calls on the residents of the nationalities of Russia to report information about the arrival of the Russian military units consisting of representatives of the people enslaved by Russia. If possible, raise the issue of their national independence and the right to self-determination among their people.